I'm Dave and this is Work in VR. So the Immerse team just released two new features which, when you take them in tandem, really elevate the co-working experience in Immerse. And those are D&D &D ghosts. No, I'm not talking about Dungeons and Dragons or actual ghosts. I'm talking about Do Not Disturb and ghost screens. So with Do Not Disturb, Maybe I'm in a public room and I've turned down the volume of other people so I can't hear other people because I, maybe I really need to focus on a task. Well, Jeff comes over and starts talking to me and he's like, hey, what do you think about the Chiefs and the Eagles in the Super Bowl? And he gets nothing from me, like a blank stare, weirdly. Well, he doesn't know that I can't hear him. I didn't hear his question. Well, with D&D, &D, you can look at the palm menu and there's a new button and you can just enable it. And when you do that, the nameplate that shows up over your head will turn kind of a dark red color and there's an icon that flips from green to red. And that is a signal to everyone else in the room that I can't hear them anymore. And so it's a really great feature which um, maybe I, my phone rings and I'm having a conversation with Tristan, let's say, and my phone rings. I can literally just pop into Do Not Disturb pick up my phone, have my phone call, and then when I'm done, you know, during my phone call, I can't hear anything around me, so I'm not distracted. And then I hang up the phone when I'm done, take myself off D&D, and then Tristan knows that I'm back and I can have a conversation with him. So it's a really nice feature to give other people around you that feedback that you can or cannot hear them. So that's the Do Not Disturb feature. The other one is Ghost Screens. So when I'm in Immersed, I can see my screens or I can tap another button on my palm menu to hide my screens. And with this new feature, when my screens are visible to me, then it renders a little drawing in front of me of like little kind of ghostly faded out computer screens. So, uh, and then when I hide my screens, that goes away. So first of all, in a public room, I cannot share my screens even if I wanted to. You're the only one that can see your screens in a, in a public room. It's a security feature. If I want to share my screens, I have to go to a collaboration room or something like that. But in a public room now, other people can see whether I can see my own screens or not. Why does this matter, you might ask? Well, let's say I've got screens all around me in a semicircle, which I usually do, and I have my keyboard on my chair here, and I'll rotate and so now I'm facing this way, I'm looking at this screen, and th this has happened by the way, and I'm reading my email. Well, sitting right next to me is Nate, and he kind of looks over and he sees me weirdly staring at him, and it's just super awkward. He doesn't know that I'm reading my email, you know, because he doesn't know what I'm seeing. Well, now with the ghost screens, he can see, oh, Dave's screens are up, therefore he's not looking at me, he's looking at his screens or whatever. So that's very helpful. And then on the flip side of that equation, maybe I'm having a conversation with Ryan, and if I hide my screens, Ryan can see that my screens are hidden, the little ghost rendering in front of my avatar goes away, and he can see that I'm giving him my full attention and we're having a natural conversation. So when you take those two features into consideration, it's just more information for others in the room around you. And it really helps the interactions be much more fluid and natural, and it's a wonderful thing. So I've enlisted my buddy Miguel to help me demonstrate these uh, features real quick. So let's jump into Immersed, and we'll see what these features look like. Okay, so here we are in the Immersed Space Lounge. There's my good buddy Miguel, who's gonna help me demonstrate these features. If you look in front of Miguel and Tristan and everybody else here in the room, you can see the ghost screens in front of each avatar. Now I've muted the audio so you can't hear them, but if you look over there, there's Stefan sitting there with Jeff and they have both hidden their screens because they're having a conversation right now. But if you look at Chris or Sheila or everybody else, they are seeing their own screens. So that's how you can tell if someone can see their own screens or not. Now, since I've muted the audio, I need to send a quick message to Miguel here. And I'm first going to ask him to hide his screens. And then after that, I'm going to ask him to go into Do Not Disturb. So watch his screen. There it vanished. So he's hidden his screen. Now I'm going to give him the thumbs up and watch over his head. 
Boom. Now he's just gone into Do Not Disturb. Notice it's red. Tristan over here is not in Do Not Disturb. It's green. But whereas Miguel is red, so Miguel can't hear us right now. So that's what these two features look like in Immersed. Thanks a lot, Miguel. Appreciate it, buddy. So there you have it. Do Not Disturb and Ghost Screens. A couple of amazing features that really help with co-working in Immersed. If you've never been to the public rooms in Immersed, I highly recommend it. It's an amazing way to work. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I pray that God blesses you with an amazing day. Thanks for watching.